Days ahead of the big movie release of uh, Rais, uh, that, which also stars Shah Rukh Khan, we are seeing the BJP and the superstar uh, in you know a war of words. I BJP leader Kailash Vijayvargya, who has launched a veil attack on the famous Bollywood actor, taking to social media, posting a picture, siding with uh, Hrithik Roshan's film Kabul, and also criticizing Rais. At the same time, the image that you're seeing on your screens right now was posted on Kailash Vijayvargya's Twitter page uh, that reads, and I quote, Rais couldn't be of its own country and is of no good. We should in fact support Kabul, which is patriotic. Now, this comes days after Shah Rukh Khan ran into trouble because of the controversy surrounding his film Rais, which also stars Pakistani actress Mahira Khan and is slated for release this Friday. And staying with the story, we're getting in some breaking news that Kailash Vijayvargya, the BJP leader, on promotion of Shah Rukh Khan's movie Rais. In fact, he's saying the way these promotions are being held, they should take care of the crowds as well. So he's speaking about the tragic incident that unfolded in Vadodara, where one person lost his life as a result of the stampede, according to the police. But Shah Rukh Khan claims that uh, the person died as a result of a cardiac arrest. In fact, Mr. Vijay Vargya goes on to say that if Dawood Ibrahim comes onto the street, there would be a crowd to see him as well. You can't gauge popularity on the basis of the crowd. I will not comment on that. Smart people have understood what it means. These are the words coming in from BJP's Kailash Vijayvargya. I'm joined by Kailash Vijayvargi, BJP National General Secretary. Sir, जो शाहरुख खान की फिल्म रईस के प्रमोशन के दौरान एक व्यक्ति की मौत भी हो गई वडोदरा में भगदड़ के चलते इसके बारे में आपका क्या कहना है देखिए ये फिल्म के प्रमोशन का जो आजकल परंपरा एक चली है कम से कम जनता के सुविधाओं का ध्यान रखना चाहिए रेलवे में जाकर अगर करेंगे तो आम नागरिकों को असुविधा भी हो रही है अब ये भीड़ तो अभी दाऊद निकल जाए तो भीड़ आ जाएगी पर कम से कम भीड़ से लोकप्रियता का अंदाज नहीं लगाया जाता एक और, एक और था आपका जो ट्वीट था जो उसको लेके क्या अब मतलब जो रईस को आपने पैन किया और जिस तरह से दूसरी फिल्म को आपने वो प्रमोट करने की कोशिश की उसके पीछे क्या कारण था कैलाश उस पर कोई टिप्पणी नहीं करूँगा समझदार लोग समझ गए दिस वॉज कैलाश विजय वर्गी विथ कैमरा पर्सन आलोक भटनागर ब्रिजेश पांडे फॉर इंडिया टूडे Okay, we have with us now Brijesh Pandey for more on this. Brijesh, uh, those are the last words. Samajdar log samaj gaye hain. I wonder what is he indicating at uh, Kailash Vijayvargya targeting Shah Rukh Khan, hitting out at him uh, through his scathing tweet. Absolutely, I think you know what he was trying to hint at is that you know he would not try to enunciate on what exactly is the meaning of his tweet. Mm -hmm. But people who know him would have understood by now what exactly my tweet means. And you know, instead of uh, you know take a, a backing down, he he was today as confrontational as best as possible by saying that you know you cannot gauge the popularity of a star uh, by popularity of anybody by the number of crowd. If you even send Dawood Ibrahim on uh, streets, uh, there'll be as many people uh, who would be who would come out on streets to watch him. So it's very clear that you know he's. Uh, he is helmet on his uh, combative uh, streak which he has been uh, show, which has shown in his tweet uh, two days back and he's saying that you know uh, and, and the way he has gone about given the fact that you know the kind of uh, position he holds within the bjp he is bjp's national general secretary and in charge of west bengal makes it very clear that you know that he will not back down uh, courtesy this con particular controversy over his tweet and he's been at the center of a uh, number of controversies as well isn't it kailash vijayvargya i'm saying no word when it comes to him speaking his mind. Mind. Don't you think that through his tweet, he's also made his point abundantly clear? Oh, yes. Oh, he is. He is controversy's favorite child, I guess, as far as the BJP is concerned. Much to our scribes' delight, but uh, he has never refrained from, uh, you know, pulling his punches, and he has always been more than forthcoming and extremely controversial when it comes to uh, making these kind of statements, which any leader would uh, normally avoid and not let himself, you know, uh, land in the middle of the controversy. And today also, you know, he, there was there was no hesitation when we asked him about the tweet. He said, like, you know, we'll I'll not explain uh, the uh, the contours of my tweet, but people who are smart, they know what i mean exactly so it's very clear that you know that uh, we have not seen the end of uh, this particular kailash vijay vargi versus shahrukh khan fight and we will uh, we might see uh, some more coming uh, from the stable of kailash vijay vargi absolutely Mantika? does that spell trouble for rais it's supposed to release this friday isn't it 
Well, I don't think whether it will spell trouble for Rais or not because, you know, Abe, he will not exhort people to take law and order or uh, any such situation uh, in, in their hand. But mm. uh, we have seen in the past that, you know, that they have been concerted effort on uh, on some organizations and individuals in which they have exhorted people to boycott film, uh, yes. thereby, you know, leading to commercial losses. We saw that in the case of uh, Karan Johar film, Adil Hai Mushkil, and then there were a couple of other instances where, where uh, the producers and the directors were forced to broker peace uh, with the particular uh, particular organization and person concerned. Mm. So uh, we might see something of that sort here with the kind of a clarion call which has been given that, you know, that we should be uh, boycotting film Rais and, you know, promoting uh, Kabil, which is a Patriot's film, uh, may result in some sort of a commercial uh, loss as far as Rais is concerned. Avantika? Okay, I want to go straight across now to uh, Congress leader Tom Barakan. Sir, thanks so much for speaking to us. Uh, what do you make of all these comments being made by Kailash Vijayvargya using Twitter and, uh, you know, making his point abundantly clear? Well, this man has been regularly making such comments. Yes. And especially election time, he focuses on these kind of activity. His focus has been not in so much on cinematography, cinema, or quality films. It has been purely and um, carefully targeting elections. Polarization is his agenda. Now, he is using a, a very a strange way to uh, adopt this kind of uh, an approach which he is doing. Hmm. So I don't think it is uh, appropriate even to comment on him or to make it an issue of it because his view on cinematography, culture is as good as or as bad as a variety of things that he believes in. Hmm. So hmm. I don't think we should then take any cognizance of it and give it any credibility to make a comment on. And, and you know, uh the the uh, language that he uses uh, uh, in his tweet i mean he goes on to bat for another film uh, by another actor and says that uh, you know intelligent people will understand what i'm trying to get at how do you respond to that well the kind of intelligent people he is talking about intelligent people of his level no so that kind of variety is very limited in this country so i am mean, unfortunately he has to uh, fall back on all, on all traditions of trying to compare films and then uh, promote one film against the other. Let the viewers decide which film is good or which is bad. And the people of India are wise enough. If the film is good, they will reject it. If the film is a box office, we can stop it. I think these kind of interventions from politicians are uncalled for. No, but I mean, Shah Rukh Khan has uh, also taken no chances after what happened with Karan Johar. In fact, he went on to meet even Raj Thakre, sir, to placate him for the smooth release of his film. See, this country is under the shadows of fear psychosis. Hmm. And naturally, when you've invested heavily on a film and you've done hard work, so you try to, uh, I mean, kind of protect yourself from the attack, political attacks. So this kind of a thing is not acceptable in civil society. If right. films have to be dependent of politicians and political trick, then I think the industry needs to shut up because then you can only produce documentaries, which uh, which I think should be certified not by the censor board, but by the uh, party officers. Why do you need a censor board? Why do you need uh, to screen it? Go to the party office, screen it. And if they decide it's good, you run it. If they don't, well, right. that's your luck. I mean, this is the state of affairs this country has come to, is it? Absolutely. Mr. Tom Badakan, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Editor India today, Shivarur also joins us uh, for more on this. Uh, Shiv, a uh, very interesting point being made by Tom Badakan. He doesn't really understand this kind of interference and these kind of remarks coming in from politicians uh, uh, about a character in the film or the film's content. Well, uh, you know, I think uh, the, the, the uh, opposition will probably see Kailash Vijay Vargya as a person who has a lot of time on his hands. Uh, you know, a politician uh, who obviously has enough time on his hands to try and re-agitate the entire uh, anti-national debate, uh, you know, that festered over the last year, including the award wapsi uh, issue. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan was very much a part of that entire anti-national debate when he had come out and uh, sort of criticized the government about the air of intolerance in the country. Since then, uh, you know, King Khan has been like villain number one as far as elements within the BJP uh, and the larger Sangh Parivar are concerned. So, in that context, it's not surprising at all uh, that Kailash Vijay Vargya, known to be a rabble rouser, known to be a very controversial minister who doesn't mince his words, attacking Shah Rukh Khan is no surprise at all. What is surprising 
uh, is uh, uh, the fact that he has, you know, directly made this about patriotism. You know, a, a work of creativity. The film Rise is a work of creativity. It's a film that right. he's chosen to attack the subject matter of it, uh, not just the subject matter of it, but also the fact that it's Shah Rukh Khan, hmm. uh, you know, who's uh, uh, you know who's made this film, and also juxtapose it with another film starring uh, Rithik Roshan, uh, you know, uh, and and uh, make it seem like it's an unpatriotic anti-national film made by an anti-national character versus you know a patriotic film with a patriotic individual in bollywood is is shocking to say the least tom badakar of the congress said uh, you know we shouldn't be paying this any attention the fact is kailash vijayvargiya is not a fringe element he's a former minister from madhya pradesh hmm. he's a leader uh, in the bjp a person who's you know known to be close to the leadership uh, you know at the center and a person who was given a great deal of responsibility in the 2014 national absolutely. election absolutely so kailash vijayvargiya is no fringe element or small fry he's a credible leader within the bjp and he's the one leading exactly. the attack on shahrukh khan and rais and that's why it's an important story right absolutely and we have bjp spokesperson china nc also on the phone line and ma'am uh, what does one make uh, you know from the kind of comments that a credible leader like kailash vijayvargiya is making on uh, a film like uh, you know rais and pitting it against hrithik roshan's kabul he's going on and batting for the film kabul saying that it's a patriotic film and one should come out and see this film and out rightly reject Shah Rukh Khan's film Firstly there is no reference to Shah Rukh Khan anywhere if at all Mr Kailash Vijayvargiya has given a view point it says ki jo rais desh ka nahi wo kisi kaam ka nahi it's a comment on the uh, uh, you know the the rich of this country where he says ki aur ek kabil desh bhakt ke ka saath jo ho to hum sabhi को देना चाहिए उनका साथ एंड इफ यू सी द काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन दैट हैज हैपन फ्रॉम हिंदी टू इंग्लिश ऑलमोस्ट मेकिंग इट आउट टू बी एज इफ इट्स अ पॉट शॉट एट शाहरुख विच इट्स नॉट इफ देर इज नो मेंशन ऑफ हिम देर इज नो मेंशन ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ कंपेरिजन टू हिम एंड रिजॉर्शन बट द मैसेज इज क्वाइट क्लियर आई मीन हीज मेड हिज पॉइंट क्वाइट क्लियर मीडिया इज इन सोशल मीडिया अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेर पीपल कैन view point give various view points and tongue in cheek intended isn't it possible to give a view point on note bandi where he's gone on to say ki ab ki baar desh ki kabil janta jo unko lagta hai ki koi beimaan ma'am but why should politicians get involved in all of this it's a creative film i mean if you remember the aidil hai mushkil controversy karan johar coming out and making a fervent appeal against the stalling of his film i mean he was himself so hurt by you know the anti national charges that were slammed on him please let me at the cost of repeating say nobody has anything against shahrukh khan nobody okay. has anything against this film hmm. nobody has anything for kabil or nobody has to comment on that either hmm. but if there was a reference to the actor concerned yes you can question what you want to if there is a general tongue in cheek intended where it says that in this day and age where we're talking about note bandi mm -hmm. where we're talking about demonetization where we have had lots of capable people who have supported and lots of uh, you know dishonest rich people who have tried to play with the system mm -hmm. isn't that a kind of political comment i think that it's not that you need to raise a controversy out of every issue when there is a uh, no mention of a person concerned no mention of his acting ability or a comment on the film it's only the use of a word rais which is obviously meaning rich or a use of a word called kabil which obviously means capable or competent i don't think we need to uh, make this as if it's some kind of nationalism story because it isn't Right, uh, Shaina NC there from the BJP. Thank you so much. Coming out in defence of Kailash Vijayvargiya, uh, Brijesh and Shiv. Thank you both also for joining us and Mr. Tom Badakar. Moving on now.